Nine PD says a person is dead after a shooting on the city's southwest side. It happened in Canby at around 7.30 on Orchard Grove Lane. That's in a neighborhood near Friendswood and State Road 67. News 8's Lakin McGee just got to the scene. Lakin, tell us what you know so far. Really why? Um, first and foremost, oh, I want to say we're, we're hearing we're from uh, uh, help with information it's on Shane this Bully case. there with if IMPD. Let's gunshots. listen in. If they saw anything, if they had any doorbell cameras, if they had any cameras on their home uh, around this location, we're asking them to provide those to homicide detectives so that way we can learn a little more about what occurred. What I can tell you at this point is approximately 7.30 a.m., IMPD Southwest District officers responded to the 8600 block of uh, Orchard... Uh, I'm sorry, this address correctly for you. Orchard Grove lane on a report of a person shot. Upon arrival, officers located an adult female inside the residence with injuries consistent with a gunshot wound or wounds. Uh, unfortunately, she was pronounced deceased on scene. Uh, an individual uh, was on scene and uh, stayed on scene to speak with uh, officers and detectives. Uh, what Detectives res responded and are on scene. They're applying for a search warrant. I'm sure they're applying for multiple search warrants at this point uh, to gather more information about this incident. Um, it can tell you that there are no signs, obvious signs, of forced entry to the home. Uh, the individual who located uh, the female is a resident, and there was nobody else in the home at the time when officers arrived. Uh, and the Indianapolis Marion County Forensic Services Agency will be responding to identify, collect forensic evidence. Detectives are on scene. We're going to be here for several hours as detectives investigate. The IMPD Chaplain's Office is on scene to provide support and resources uh, for those impacted by this incident. Anyone with information, anyone with information at all, whether it be they heard shots fired, uh, that'll help detectives get an idea of when this incident occurred. If they have any cameras on their homes that are in the area, if they have any doorbell cameras that might have captured something that occurred, we're asking them to contact the IMPD Homicide Office at 327-3475. Again, 327-3475. Uh, or they can call Crime Stoppers at 262 tips. The downside, I will say, of, of calling Crime Stoppers is that uh, the transfer of, the, of video evidence it becomes more difficult. So even if somebody wants to not provide their information, we would encourage them to call the IMPD Homicide Office at 327-3475. Are there any questions? Um, are you guys treating this or still trying to figure out if this was self-inflicted or maybe a homicide? This, this is being investigated as a homicide. And I want to make sure I have this right. Uh, multiple gunshots? Is that what, what you said? It's a gunshot or gunshots. Okay. And the person that stayed on scene is a resident of the home? Correct. Okay. The exact relationship is a little bit uh, uncertain. Okay. This is a little bit odd for this community? Uh, I've never been out here, uh, ever. Uh, I'm not aware of any um, issues in this area. I looked up the history of this location, and I don't see any history of runs to this address anytime recently. So I will say it's a bit odd for, for this area. But sometimes what we find is those neighborhoods that have experienced less incidents of violent crime uh, tend to be more alert to it and then are you know, looking at their cameras. They are more can be re uh, very responsive. So we're hoping that someone in the area knows something and can share that with detectives. And I guess that blue Dodge right there is belongs to, I guess, whoever lives there, too. Right? I don't have that information. What's it like for you guys to have to come out into a neighborhood like this and just, I mean, have to deal with something like this? Because it's far too often, you know, you guys are responding to things like this. So a couple things. One, I want to emphasize that uh, homicides are down this year. Um, it, it, the number doesn't really matter to those impacted. Uh, at the same time, you know, people talk about the rise in violent crime and, and homicides, aggravated assaults, non-fatal shootings are all down at this point compared to last year. Uh, but to those impacted by it, it doesn't matter. The individual family members, friends who are impacted by, by gun violence don't care what the numbers are. So for each of them, it's devastating and that's really what's important. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Yep. Have a good one. Uh, guys, I'm just going to try to reiterate, you know, kind of what we just heard here. If we want to show the house right over here. You can see it is kind of taped off. Um, I want to count. Let me see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, seven squad cars out here right now. There was a lot more earlier when we got here. But what we what we do know now is that it was a female that was found inside the home. Uh, still trying to confirm. They said gunshot.
gunshots, uh, trying to figure out that. Still don't. Right now, I do want to say, though, that they are investigating this as a homicide. There was another person here on scene that they said did stay and is cooperating with them. Uh, I guess the big thing right now is they're just asking folks that live in this neighborhood, if you have uh, video surveillance on the outside of your home and you have any information on that, you you see anything suspicious, go ahead and turn that video over to them. That's going to help them figure this out a lot quicker. Again, we do know that this was a female uh Gun, gunshot, gunshots, consistent there. Uh, the person has died. Uh, so, Hannah, it was, we do get any more information. I'll be sure to update you guys here on air and online. But for now, I'm Lake and McGee for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.